Dallas County hitting its highest number of new COVID cases since early February. And as those numbers climb, we are seeing new vaccine requirements. Baylor Scott and White Hospital says its employees and providers must be fully vaccinated by October 1st. Now that applies to the nearly 50,000 people across Texas. Sonia is out with us this morning outside Baylor Scott and White. And Sonia, this is, of course, as you might expect, leading to a lot of questions about just what comes next, uh, especially as we are seeing families getting ready for the start of the school year. Yeah, I know a lot of parents are thinking ahead to that time, which is not that far away. So uh, let's kind of talk about what's happening now. This announcement from Baylor Scott and White Health was really the first in a series we heard about yesterday. Facebook and Google also saying, look, employees have got to be vaccinated once they come back into the workplace. And all of this came one day after the CDC updated its mask guidance for all Americans saying, look, whether or not you're vaccinated, you're going to have to resume wearing masks indoors. Now, this is a recommendation. It's not a mandate, but they say it's especially important in parts of the country with significant or high caseloads of the COVID Delta, uh, COVID Delta variant. So we cannot ignore the fact that all of this is happening just a few days before the start of the school year, as Mark mentioned, uh, for some of our local districts. I know a lot of parents are trying to ease their own fears and anxieties about sending your kids to school. I spoke one on one with Dr. Richard Besser yesterday. He's a pediatrician, also former acting director of the CDC, now president and CEO of the Robert Woods Johnson Foundation, which is the nation's largest health philanthropy. Schools take the right measures and it's layered measures. It's not just one thing. It's masks, it's social distancing, it's ventilation, it's, it's, it's promoting vaccination for your teachers and staff. If you do all those things, schools are very safe. What we, we tend to see is lower rates of transmission in schools than we see in the surrounding communities. Thankfully, COVID is less severe the younger you are. Uh, but it doesn't mean that, that we know everything. You know, we see young people who have long, uh, uh, long time uh, uh, symptoms following a COVID infection. Uh, we're seeing young people who have been hospitalized with this infection. So it is something to take seriously, but it's, it's so important that everyone is able to make an informed decision. So of note, this is not going to be the last time you will see CDC guidance changing. It's called real time learning. You learn something, the guidance changes. So please be mindful of that. You're going to have to ebb and flow as the situation evolves, really. Uh, you can watch my entire 10 minute interview with Dr. Besser on WFAA's YouTube page. And remember, you can always reach out if you have any questions. Back to you guys. All right, great information. Thank you for that, Sonia. We know a lot of our viewers are also wondering when they'll be able to get their kids vaccinated because right now kids 11 and under are not eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Both Pfizer and Moderna, though, are conducting some clinical trials for kids aged 5 to 11. Pfizer says it hopes to apply for emergency use authorization for kids 2 to 11 in September. Now, earlier this week, Moderna says it is expanding trials to kids in that same age group. So far, their vaccine is only approved for people over the age of 18, but the company does expect that to change any day now. Now, at the federal level, President Biden says he will roll out new vaccine requirements for some employees today as federal workers will have to show proof that they have been vaccinated or they will have to agree to regular testing, social distancing, mask and travel restrictions as well. And new this morning, Netflix has issued a mandate for all of its productions in the United States. Deadline is reporting that all actors and some crew members must be vaccinated. This would make Netflix the first major Hollywood studio with a mandate like that. Coming up at 630, Ariel Placencia will take a closer look at your rights when it comes to vaccine requirements. And remember, we've got all of these stories about vaccines and COVID-19 on our website. You can find them at WPA.com slash coronavirus.